Good evening, I'm Melissa Bruner. And I'm Ralph Hipp. Thanks for joining us on a sad night in Topeka again this evening. The search for the man suspected of killing two Topeka police officers did end early this morning with exchanges of gunfire. A warning that what you're about to see and hear is something some of you might consider graphic. Authorities say they negotiated several hours with suspect David Toscareno. Just after 6 this morning, they fired tear gas into a home at 3rd and Western. They say Toscareno came out with a handgun and fired one shot. You heard officers then return fire. Toscareno later died of his injuries. That ending came 12 hours after police say Toscareno killed Corporal David Gogan and Officer Jeff Atherley. That happening exactly 24 hours ago, and today officers revealed new details about what happened in the Dillons parking lot. 13's Amanda Lana was at the law enforcement center today gathering more information. And uh, Amanda, what do we know now about how this Sunday scenario played out? Well, we now know that someone called 911 to report the vehicle Tescareno was in in that Dillon's parking lot because they suspected drug activity was going on. We also know it was the help of the public that kept him from getting away. It was nearly 6.30 p.m. when authorities say David Tescarino gunned down two police officers in a grocery store parking lot. And it was about 6.30 a.m. when authorities returned fire on Tescarino, ending his life as well. The ending leaves one burning question unanswered. Would have been nice to at least try to figure out what his motivation was. Authorities say three people were in the vehicle at Dillon's. They say Corporal Gogian and Officer Atherley asked them to step out of the car. A moment later, they say Tuscarino got out of the rear passenger seat and fired. They had one officer laying down on the ground. They had another officer over the, with his hands over his head at gunpoint behind him. A third officer on the scene returned fire, but authorities say Tuscarino got back into the car himself and sped off. Investigations led by authorities from TPD, the Sheriff's Office, KBI, and Kansas Highway Patrol took authorities to two different locations before a citizen's tip led them to the apartment home Tuscarino was hiding in at 3rd and Western. While that part of this story has come to an end, healing has just begun for those close to the fallen officers. I would kind of define them as uh, numb at this point. They're able to do their job. They know what they're supposed to do, and they're able to do it. This takes a while to set in. KBI will investigate the scene at the home on Western. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office will investigate the shooting scene at Dillon's. And Ralph and Melissa District Attorney Chad Taylor said when his office begins its investigation of this, it will take as long as it takes to get it right. All right, Amanda Lanham, thank you for the update on what happened last night and again today. Members of the Topeka community are remembering those fallen officers at this hour. Quite a crowd gathered at the Law Enforcement Center. 13 Sarah Plank is at a candlelight vigil that was organized by the Fraternal Order of Police. Sarah? Yes, good evening, Melissa and Ralph. And by the looks of it, you can just tell how much these two officers were loved. And right now, their family members and community members are outside of the Law Enforcement Center to honor and commemorate the lives lost. Corporal David Gogian and Officer Jeff Atherley. David Gogian served 25 years in the military with the Marine Corps Reserve and the Kansas Air National Guard, but continued to work for the Topeka Police Department. He has a son, Brandon Gogian, also a, pol a Topeka police officer. Chief of Police Ron Miller said he had the pleasure of knowing Gogian well and that he was quite a guy. Atherley had only been an officer for 18 months, hired in April of 2011. Counselors and psychologists are available for the Topeka Police Department and the grieving families. Chaplain Tobias Schlingensiepen, Governor Sam Brownback, Chief Ron Miller, and Sheriff Herman Jones are among those to speak tonight, as well as the presentation of wreaths and prayers of light by the community. And later on, we'll have more reactions uh, to the vigil and the mood surrounding the tragic loss of life here in Topeka. Melissa and Ralph. All right, Sarah Blake reporting, and as you mentioned, a very large crowd there. Governor Sam Brownback expected to attend tonight's vigil as well. We are learning a bit more today about the man officers believe fired those fatal shots in last night's tragedy. David Tiscarino was no stranger in his run-ins with law enforcement locally. 13's Justin Surrency has been following the criminal history of Tiscarino. Justin, what have you found out? 
That's right, Ralph. It is uh, quite extensive. In 2008, as an 18-year-old, David Tiscarino was charged with theft. As a 20-year-old, he violated his probation in connection with the theft and sentenced to serve 60 days in jail. In March of 2011, David was charged with possession of a criminal weapon, which was a shotgun, and given probation for that charge as well. Officers and those that had run-ins with David Tiscarino were well aware of his criminal track record. He does have a, a criminal history. Uh, how extensive? I don't have that information in front of me right now, but he, uh, he was known to the, the law enforcement community with his history, though. From the demeanor he obviously carries, is not a very good one, so, like, I wouldn't, you know, wish him upon my worst enemy. Residents of the Tedman apartment building at 1255 South Topeka Boulevard, where David Tiscarino was supposedly living, tell me police had visited the complex at least a dozen times looking for David in connection with a different crime. That same individual also claims that David robbed her boyfriend at gunpoint for $60 just six months ago. Officers have not confirmed Tescarino's involvement with either, either crimes discussed by the neighbor, but continue their investigation.